Hi and welcome back. This is acrylic paper that I bought, or paper for acrylic paint that I bought last week. I already played around with it a little bit and I want to show you all the stuff that I tried with it and it was lots of fun. I'm going to sacrifice another sheet. It's from Hannah and it's slightly bigger than an A4 page. You see that's my Inktober A4 and it's this acrylic paper but <coughs> excuse me is a little bit bigger. Let's just get it out of the way. It does work with acrylics. So let me grab. I got three acrylic pens here from Amsterdam that I bought to try out. And let's just, they go on here nicely. With no objection. Covers nice. And because there's something on the surface, the ink, uh, the, the, the acrylic doesn't dry so fast, so I can actually paint with it. There's a slight texture to the surface of this paper. And um, let me zoom in. I kind of like it's. Uh, It makes it look a little bit like a canvas, a very fine woven canvas. Has a little bit of texture. Let me zoom out again. The back side of this is totally smooth. So yeah, so you can you can paint here with your acrylics if you like. And there's enough time to move it around a bit. And it layers okay as well. Now all the acrylics I have is like acrylic ink because it's acrylic ink in in the markers. And um, it worked okay with that. I'd say it seems to me that it might have to have quite a few layers before it looks okay. But it could also be that I just need some practice. I'm used to using acrylic on pay on straight paper and watercolor paper and stuff like that. So <clears throat> one of my oh here's here's a pencil. It's it's n you you can do your draft or your sketch with a graphite pencil on here, but it won't move but it doesn't really look good I tried the color pencil on here and that's a no-go either but pretty much everything else I tried so my trouble baby is babies are these pigment markers from Winsor Newton I never really found anything where they work well on it should work well on their own paper but I never got around buying that and I've tried lots and lots of different kinds of paper and stuff and what it worked the best on was Yupo paper which is a plastic paper but once you're done on that Yupo paper you can just drop your whole painting off again which I'm not impressed with and the reason why I haven't bought the, the paper for these is because it's like marker paper it's 70 grams only and these are light fast and should last a hundred years and whatnot. And who makes everlasting art on thin paper? I'm sorry, it is just there's lots of stuff I don't like about these markers. But they actually work on, on this paper. Oh, it's very shiny. The thing about these is that, that they are streaky and I haven't seen anything where they are not to some degree. But the idea with these is that you can use them as paint um, as long as the ink is wet you can thin it down with water and move it with a brush so that's supposedly one of the 
selling points. But I mean, I buy a marker because I want to do a marker. If I want to paint, I'll buy paint. I don't mind that you can kind of work both ways, but I I feel maybe with these that you have to work with a brush. But you can use these and once that dries I can't move it at all. What I can sadly is I can reactivate it with another marker and that's another feature of these. It can be good, it can be bad. I find it actually a little bit annoying. Well, I should probably just do this. Um, so if you have like a dark layer and you try and go over it with a lighter marker, you activate the layer underneath and move it. So that's great for blending. It is not so great if you yeah, wanted to do other things. I find them hard to control and I should do a an expose about these actually they should have their entirely own video and I'll get back to that. I think that is see that stays I can't rub it off so that's fantastic that means I have something that is actually acceptable so I can get these markers used up and out of my life. Now we're talking about pigment markers. I'll put these away because they keep rolling. I got the, the good kid in the class, Pit Pen Brush Markers. They go on here like a beauty as well. They can tend to streak as well, but you can actually put them on here without them streaking too bad and they you can do the same with these you can also use them kind of as watercolor but you have to be a little quick because as soon as the ink dries even a little bit it leaves a mark there but you can and once that dries that is permanent and you cannot move it anymore so yeah, I'm looking forward to using these on this paper. Let's try another color. And if you're a little quick, you can also have them blend quite nicely on this paper. If you use it on regular paper, it, the ink usually sinks into the paper and, and you can't go back and blend afterwards. You can use these together, by the way. So if you are short of one color, you can go in with the other brand. That works brilliantly. So that was acrylic ink, Vincent Newton Mar pigment markers, pigment markers, pit pen. What else should we try? How about grabbing some alcohol markers? Here we have Touch. And it's not Touch 5. These are the real Touch ones from Shinhan. And look at that. They also just go on here perfectly. Perfectly smooth. Perfectly no not streaky at all. But they, they you, you can't really blend them because they stick to the, the paper as soon as they touch. And you can use these on top of the other things. So if you are into... Oops, that lifted. <laughs> it didn't on my trial. But yeah, you can mix and match as you like. Alcohol markers? Those two. So that is... Getting, I'm getting real happy. Let us try watercolor markers. So these are some of my Tumpo, some Tumpo, Tumpo ABT water soluble 
markers or pens. And they go on here, also just beautiful, and you can blend them on the paper if you like. Eventually this nip will get clean from the blue I mixed in. And you can add water to it and use them as watercolor on here. And you can't rub that out either when that dries. You can activate it with water again, but yeah. So let me zoom in again because uh, on this side you do get that texture showing through but you can use the other side and then you don't it's totally without texture I think it's only this page uh, page this side that you're supposed to to use working on I have no idea I think I think this is the, the working side of the paper paper but I tried before on the back side as well and works brilliant too so those work as well. Oh, can I think of anything else? I don't have any more markers. Yeah, I got. Here's a metallic green marker. And I want to show you it goes on top of stuff. Just perfect. Really nice. All all these kind of different kind of markers they they just just work. Got another got a brown one here. Bronze I guess. You can even get them to mingle a little bit here. liner. I have a pigment liner here from Stadler. It's an orange one that I got for free at some point where I bought a lot somewhere. <laughs> and this works just awesome as well. Now here comes the fun part that I I really thought was great. These are the Stadler twin markers or twin pens. I have the 72 set of these and they got a thick end and a fine line end. They work on here too. These are water based markers. They're not watercolor markers as such, but they're water based. And they just love this paper they're very wet on here and now look at this because this is what you can't really get them to do on their own on other kinds of paper but they actually blend seamlessly on this because the ink doesn't dry very fast so you can actually get quite a painterly look on here just mixing them forward and back Isn't that just special? If you feel like it, you can use a damp brush to, to help you smooth it out a little bit. And in Bingo, you got like a painterly look out of your... Now I thinned it out too much. But it actually, they work as, as watercolor markers as well. Now, now, when they're not actually watercolor markers, you can have some colors that separate out into a more different colors if you do this to them. But look at that. Bingo bongo. So alcohol markers 
water-based markers, pigment markers, acrylic markers. I got an acrylic ink here. And that is just perfect on here as well. I would be surprised if acrylic didn't work. So, can I even use it paint over this? So my thought is, I just stumbled upon the best mixed media paper ever. I don't think I have any mixed media paper that takes so well to to all these different ones. Have to give up on the colored pencils, but I'm willing to do that. Let us try a couple of my golden high flow ink. Just a drop. It will go a very long way. Cold drops of this. So here's a turquoise. It separated some. This is a very, oh, sorry, there. <laughs> this is a very thin brush, so you'll see all the brush strokes here. And that is a raw umber. These two together makes a special type of dirty green. It looks like the green of weathered copper or something. And all all the brush strokes shows here. So you will have to use either a bigger brush or have to live with that brush stroke shows and work with that. I won't say if it's bad or not. It's just the way it is. Call it a feature. Nature of acrylic inks or acrylic paints. This is a very thin acrylic ink paint, whatever. They're sold both both as paints and as inks actually. I think it is actually meant for originally for airbrush. You can paint with it as well. So there you have it. Let me zoom back out. The paper that does all kinds of funny things. And it's quite heavy as well. Um, I'll show you here. Nothing moves, and I'm rubbing fairly hard on here. I even tried watercolor on here as well, and that went on okay uh, as well. I actually got it still sitting out here. The thing is, of course, it is the same with that as with the watercolor marker, that it activates if you wet it again. Bit of schminky color. But yeah. Super fun. Super cool paper to, to play with. I think I might use it for the Winston Newton pigment markers. 
because I really want to use them up. I don't want to throw them away because I have spent quite a lot of money on those. But it is not something I'm going to buy again. But now I finally got something to use them on. I might just happen to do that. Now, I seriously can't think of anything else I want to show you on here. I bought it for acrylics and oil. I might try oil on it again. It should take oil, but um, for now I'll just show you that acrylics and alcohol markers, metallic markers, um, yeah, watercolor markers and watercolor and regular water-based pens work on here. It's really fun. Looking forward to, to using this a lot more. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that. And come back. I'm busy doing Inktober too. So this will be mingled in with Inktober videos. Take care. Bye bye.